Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another devotional. Today, we're in Colossians 3. We're looking at one verse, which is verse 11. Here, there is no Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And if there's one overarching theme here, it is the theme of unity, church unity. And if you've been in church for any amount of time, you'll know that that can be difficult to maintain sometimes. And when we looked in our previous devotional, we heard about the things that we are to put off as followers of Christ. Let's look at those again. He says in verse 8, but now you must rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices. And I'd said that all of these things, are they're important to get rid of so that we have the right testimony, so that we, we, we send out the right message to the society that we live in. People are watching, people are listening all the time. And they're all associated with the mouth, with our words. But I want us just to think about them in the perspective of church unity right now. Because it's amazing how these things can completely disrupt the unity of a church as well. So it's not just about the testimony but it's also about maintaining the peace and the unity and the love that exists in the church. And so let's, with that in mind, let's look again at verse 11. He says, here in the church, there is no Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And for sure, in the first century in that city of Colossae, there were all these different ethnic groups. There were those who were Greek and Jew. There were circumcised or uncircumcised. In other words, there were those who were following the Mosaic law and those that weren't, they were outside of the Mosaic covenant. Barbarians, who were the barbarians? Well, they were despised by the Greeks. They were looked down upon by the Greeks as people who couldn't get to grips with the Greek language. So they didn't speak the, the language. In fact, they, they, used to, they used to mock them as speaking in a, a bar, 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 <laughs> which is where they get the bar, the barbarian from. Nothing to do with sheep, okay? But he goes on to say there's no barbarians. Scythians, who were the Scythians? They were a specific people group that lived around the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And they were known as the worst of the barbarians. So they were brutal, uneducated, rough people. Slave or free. Again, these are, this is language we're not used to today, is it? Thank God that to a point we've managed to eradicate the idea, the notion of slavery. But unfortunately, we know that human slavery exists to an extent, even in the days that we live in. However, here, Paul is speaking about the classes that existed within society in that first century Roman world. We know there were those that were free. They didn't necessarily have to be rich, but they were free. They were not of the slave class. And of course, you've got the slave class and the slave class, they basically had no rights as human beings. They lived in the service of their masters. And it's quite interesting that the Apostle Paul, he doesn't instruct the church to go out and to challenge that system. He actually instructs on how slaves are to treat masters and how, are, how masters are to treat slaves. That's for another, another day, a discussion, a, a very big discussion for another day. But what's he saying here? He says there's neither slave or free. That was radical. That was, that was reformational in that particular culture. And so we need to understand that, that Paul is making it very clear that whatever social class distinctions 
exist outside of the church. They do not exist within the church. In other words, we're all on a level playing field. There is no favoritism. There is no one who is more worthy than anyone else. We are all human beings in need of God's mercy and his grace. And neither, therefore, should we look down and despise anyone from a different racial group, ethnic group or whatever. And that is something that we need to hold on to in church today. We are all equally of equal value, I should say, in the eyes of God. We are all precious in his sight. All of us have, have, have received the grace, received the mercy. Christ has poured out his own blood for us to purchase every one of us. And so let us maintain that in our own attitudes to one another. Praise God for that. Huh? Thank God that he doesn't favour the French over the English. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Thank God that he doesn't favour the Jew over the Gentile. Praise God for that. We're all equal in the sight of Almighty God. Something to dwell upon. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day.